Hey guys, welcome back to a new video and I got great news for you because my new big course just went live. My course about building industry level apps for Android, of course, using a multi-module architecture. So if you actually do work in the industry or if you want to, if you plan to actually boost your career and work on large scaling apps, then this is definitely the course for you because it will cover all these things that you will see over and over again when it comes to large apps like a multi-module architecture, like clean architectural guidelines, like sticking to solid guidelines, all that stuff, that whole stack testing, of course, that will be included in this course. So we will really go through that in detail. So we will go through when you should modularize, how you should modularize. So what kind of modularization strategy really makes sense for your app and why it makes sense. We will compare different strategies. Then um, I will show you which types of tests there are actually you can, you, you should use for your apps. We will talk about all these advantages such a multi-module architecture brings, but also, yeah, the disadvantages that will actually come to the surface if you apply these principles wrong. So if you don't know what you're doing, then you can actually, yeah, pretty much break your whole project with that. So it's definitely, it definitely makes sense to learn that from the ground up directly in a, in a good way. And although it's of course possible to learn all this by hand, that takes tons of hours. It takes a lot of failures, a lot of mistakes. So this course is definitely the shortcut for those who say, oh, I don't really have all that time to search through endless GitHub repos, through endless Stack Overflow posts. Or for those who just say, Philip, uh, you know what? I, I struggle so much to actually keep up with all these quick tech changes, like all these new technologies and all, new, uh, all these new uh, concepts that you actually want a fixed structure where someone actually already researched all that stuff, put it in a good structure and just serves you that in form of a course that is well structured. So you can just uh, watch that from part one to the last part. And then you actually know that you that you know everything you need to know about that topic. But to show you what you will actually exactly build in the course, let's actually jump into my phone here. And it will essentially be a calorie tracker app. So if you've seen the trailer last week, then you know how that roughly looks like. But now I want to actually quickly lead you through this and show you how it will actually look like and how we can use it. So that is the welcome screen. And first of all, in this app, we go through a bunch of onboarding screens where we just have to enter our, our data. We need to calculate the daily calorie amount we need to eat to either gain calorie, uh, to either gain weight, to lose weight, to, to keep the weight. So we just need some information from the user. And that, that's what happens here in this onboarding feature. So we can click next. We need to pick our agenda here. So next, I'll just leave it at the default values here for simplicity, but that would be a text field you can see. We could enter something here, but nothing invalid. Then if we click next, we need to enter our height. Our weight is relevant, of course. And then we of course need to know how active is the current user because that decides about um, how many calories they should eat. Um, I'll leave it at medium here. Then we need to know the goal. Of course, if you want to gain weight, you need to eat more calories than if you actually want to lose weight or if you want to keep weight. So let's say we want to gain weight, click next. And then we need to specify our nutrient goal. So what kind of percentage we want to fill um, from our calories with carbs, proteins and fat. So I will leave it like that. Click next. And then this is the so called tracker overview screen. So you, you might know that from other, other calorie tracker apps. We basically have our main bar here that describes our calorie count. You can see the goal was automatically calculated with a formula. And here we have our three um, main nutrients, carbs, protein and fat where we have like, yeah, gram amounts of how many of those we actually ate on that specific day. So in this case, today. And then we can either track some foods for either breakfast, lunch, dinner or snacks. So let's say we want to add some breakfast here. Then we can open this. We can click add breakfast. And then we get to the search screen where we can actually search for some food. Let's say I want to add some cornflakes. Then we can click search. 
it is actually using an uh, API here, the Open Food API, which uh, I will show you in the course how we can use that. And it seems like there are not many uh, cornflakes in that API. We needed to filter out some invalid entries, so there might be some, but uh, we, we didn't want to use that in the app. But let's actually search for something else, like noodles. Some noodles for breakfast, you can see there's some more entries. Let's say we want this instant lunch, then we can click on that. We need to enter an amount here, how, how much we actually ate of that. So let's say we ate 200 grams, click check, and there we go. We just track the food. You can see now it actually shows that calorie amount. And it also shows the, the portions of these calories, how much we actually ate with um, carbs, protein and fat. And then if we actually want to track something for a different day, we can simply go back here yesterday or then it will simply show the date as it is. Or tomorrow. You can also see there's a cool animation that you will learn how to make when we actually switch these days. So yeah, that's pretty much what we will build, all with a multi-module architecture. It will have multiple features that is, uh, yeah, I consider that important that you actually learn how to work with multiple features. It will have a bonus part about writing tests for all that, including Compose UI, end-to-end -end tests, all that stuff that is just very important to know if you want to build really solid apps. And for this course launch, because this is by far my highest quality course I have so far, I actually have a surprise for you, but before I get to that, I will actually go through some frequently asked questions about this course. I will answer these, and if you have some more questions, just put them down below and I will answer these as well. But then after that, I will actually get to that surprise, because it's something very special and unique I've never done before, but I'm sure you will love it. And question number one is actually, what, what happens if you get stuck in the course? Because we all know that I took so many coding courses where I actually yeah got stuck somewhere, were totally frustrated and couldn't really proceed. That doesn't happen with my courses. If you are if you're getting stuck, then just hit me up on Instagram via DM or you send me an email to mail at pl-coding.com and I'm always there to help you out. Then question number two I got quite often is will it use Jetpack Compose or will it use XML for the UI? And the answer is quick, it will use Jetpack Compose. Question number three is what actually if you don't like the course? So let's say you now buy this and then you realize, okay, that's not really what I thought it was. So I can tell you if you want to learn a multi-module architecture project in Android and you like my way of explaining, which you already know from YouTube, then there is no way this won't pay off for you. However, if you still think it's not good, then just hit me up on Instagram, send me an email, whatever, tell me that, and I will give you 100% of your money back within the first 30 days after your purchase. That counts for all of my courses, by the way. Question number four, are there any prerequisites? So things you actually need to know before you jump into this course, before you can take this course. And yes, of course, this is an advanced course. Um, so you should know the Android basics. You should know Kotlin. Um, ideally, you should also know Jetpack Compose because the, the focus of this course won't be on learning how to build this UI. I will include all that in the course. You will, we will write every single line of this course on our own. So that is for sure. But if you don't know Jetpack Compose, it could still be a little bit confusing. However, you don't need to be a pro. It's totally fine if you just know the basics, like uh, what are composables, which composables we have and all that stuff. And ideally, if you have some experience with MVVM, so with some kind of architectural pattern, that's helpful. It's not uh, super necessary, but it's helpful. But if you if you have these prerequisites, you're totally settled and you can uh, surely take this course without any further issues. And question number five is, will you actually get a certificate when you complete this course? So let's say you finished through this and you actually learned a lot of new concepts and now you want to show that to your future employer then it's of course helpful to have a certificate that tells them, yeah, you actually uh, follow through this course. And yes, there will be a certificate. So let's make it short. Yes, there will be, like for all of my courses. And you will get that um, after you actually finished the final quiz. So after all the lessons, there will be a final quiz 
with some questions that just check if you really understood the concepts of this course. And if you pass this quiz, then you will be awarded a certificate. If you fail it, then you can also uh, retake the quiz later. But now let's actually get to the surprise I have for you. That's something I never did before, but I'm actually very happy to offer that. Um, because yeah, also as a little thank you for everybody who actually buys this course, also supports this channel and the future of this channel here. So I can also keep on uh, producing these free videos. And that is among everybody who actually gets this course within the first week. So till next week, Sunday, including that, I will actually give away one one-to-one -one coaching with me for a whole month. So how will that look like? In the end, you and me will work together very closely. You will also build a cool project over the period of this month. And we will have weekly one-to-one -one calls in Zoom or wherever you like. And we will go through your questions. I will help you to just become a better developer and also especially to become a better Android developer. So you can ask me whatever you like there. You will get my private WhatsApp number. So you can also ask me whenever you like. <laughs> so in, in WhatsApp, because on Instagram, I, I get so many DMs and I, I can't answer all of them. But if you write me in WhatsApp, then I am usually very responsive. And yeah, I can I can much more just help you out in WhatsApp if, you, if I just send you a voice message or so. Um, that's a lot easier than an Instagram and a lot more personal actually. And no, that's not enough already. I will also, in addition to all that, give you a weekly code review for the project you're building. So I will go through your source code. I will give you very individual feedback, what you can improve, how you can improve. And that way you will massively actually benefit as a developer. So within this month, you will actually be able to, to really improve your coding style. You will improve how you, how you think as a developer, just everything, that, that whole picture that's important to actually succeed as an Android developer nowadays. So how can you actually participate? And that's pretty easy. You just need to send me a screenshot of either the invoice of the course you bought or the purchase received to my email mail at pl-coding.com and now important with the subject line PL coaching. If you, if you don't choose that subject line, then it's very likely your email will get lost because that way I can just easily filter for all these emails. And then after a week, I will actually pick one lucky winner among all of these people who actually sent me these screenshots. I will then announce in my Instagram story who is actually the winner. So you can check that, but I will of course also simply reply to your email if you are the winner. And then I'm very happy to actually coach one of you throughout February here. And before you actually take a look in the description and get the course, one more thing, it's even not enough here. I will give you a discount on top of all that, not only for this new course, but for all of my courses. And those who actually yeah, follow me for a while know that I rarely give discounts because yeah, I'm, I just think my courses are really worth their money because they save you so much time. However, yeah, for a course launch, I think we can give a discount of 25%, which is quite big here. So if you use the discount code multimodule25, you will get 25% on all my courses. Like not only the new one, on all my courses. Don't forget to apply this discount code in cart and yeah, just enjoy the course, happy learning. And if there's anything wrong, then as I said, you can always hit me up on Instagram or by email. And I really want to thank everybody again who gets this course and supports the, the future of this channel. So yeah, only that way I can of course keep on posting free videos because with these I don't earn anything. But these take so much time to make actually. So th there must be some way I actually also be able to maintain this channel, which courses are a brilliant way. So thanks everybody for the support and I hope you all enjoy the course, but I'm, I'm convinced you will. I wish you an amazing week. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you back in the next video. So see you then. Bye bye.